Well, hello there, chums. Tis I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, I'm playing some Elden Ring, and I think I've found a very good farming spot for the novice player, a player like me. So at the moment, I'm level six, I believe, or seven. So it's very early stages, and I've only just reached this sort of waypoint that's by the encampment. Now, this is normally where you get torrent from. You know that spirit dog given to you by that lovely lady with one eye? Yeah, I'm sure. I think she might have two eyes i'm just i have no idea but she offers you an accord yeah it's a honda right so let's head on over to here and this is where you can rest on up so you've got this little save point so if you do die you're straight back here again doesn't really matter so here we go so here just rest for the day or whatever and then leave lovely jubbly awesome now what we're going to do is farm the giant troll creature yes the big troll freaking rock creature so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm just storing some stuff into a chest i didn't know i could store stuff in chests i've been freaking ditching stuff yeah helmets and shields because they were too heavy and my strength was too low i've just been throwing them away now i know i can store them in a chest anyway there he is up there he's that big freaking git now what you have to do is sort of dodge these guys that are firing freaking arrows at you i mean yes you can hit them if you really want to but they are going to hit you back but this big troll dude he, you can actually taunt him and give him some aggro just by hitting him and luring him down this way. And after a while, those arrows will peter off. They won't be able to hit you. So just get into this doorway and just keep hitting the giant troll. And he will follow you through that archway and he comes quite a distance. Be careful you don't back off too far or else the people down in the encampment are going to get on onto you as well. But just keep hitting him. Now, because you've just rested at the camp, you get all your bottles back. So you can heal yourself a couple of times. You can replenish your magic. So here you go. I'm just hitting him from a distance. Now, this was working well for me because I'm not a melee build. I'm a, I'm a distance build. So maybe this is only going to really work for those people that are using magic. But I believe all classes get some kind of magic of some kind, some sort of ranged attack that you could use to use against this guy. So just use as much FP as possible at distance and then maybe just finish him off with your sword if you're not a complete sort of ranged attacker like I am. And you can see there, I just got 1,000... 1,000 runes for that. That's insane. That's freaking great. Awesome. And then all I'm doing is just resting here again. <laughs> Brilliant. But then I'm going to go to level up and I'm going to spend those on stuff. So there we go. I'm going to put up my strength a little bit. Like I said, I keep picking up items where you need the strength of level 18. So I want to get my strength up for le to level 20, but I also want to get my FP up to 20 as well, just so I can fire off more of this sort of magical stuff. I need to make it harder. I don't know what to actually upgrade to make my magic do more damage. I don't know whether it's arcane or faith. If somebody inside of the comments could let me know which one upgrades how much damage your magic does. Is it the arcane or faith? Or is it something completely different that I've completely overlooked? Anyhow, there we go. I'm dodging out the way of these arrows and I'm taunting this guy. Come on, come and get me. Come on. Yeah, so your magic also peters off. You can only get them in a certain range, and it's all about range. And you can see there, he stopped. Now he's charging me. Right, that's what we want. So roly-poly, out of the way. Come on, big giant. Oh, fudge, he's going to get me, isn't he? He's going to freaking get me. Sometimes he does this growl move, and it freaking knocks you asunder and takes a heck of a lot of energy. Don't stand right in front of him for too long, or get ready to freaking roll. If you see him sort of lurch back, roll because he's about to scream at you and it does damage right okay right let's take him out now i do understand these guys can actually do damage to surrounding characters as well so even if i did go into the encampment with him he might accidentally hit the other characters that are in there you know the soldiers so i don't i haven't tried that though so i don't know for sure but i have been told that they do damage like to other npcs that are in the area right okay or enemy players i should say Right, just keep hitting him anyway. Now, for whatever reason, it's locking onto his legs. Sometimes it locks onto his head. I think it does a tad more damage when it hits him in the head or in the chest. But yeah, we're just going to hit him in. There you go, hit him into the head there. Yeah, but yeah, I, I'm not too sure how you lock onto different spots on an enemy. It, it's, it's just lock on for me and that's it. So again, if you know how to change your lock on spot on an enemy, that'd be nice as well. Because I've been trying to press the R hatch stand in to move the target. And sometimes it just unlocks from him altogether. I go to lock back on it, locks onto the same limb. And I've been trying to use D-pads, but that, that, that's your short menu. So I'm not too sure how to lock onto his head if I'm locked onto his leg. Right, awesome. 
So here we go. I'm still an early game player, so I'm only going to be sharing tips with you that have really helped me out. But if you help me out in the comments and you give me some tips, and I'll help out a wider audience. That's how it works. Freaking ace. Awesome. So there we go. I've leveled up yet again. Freaking insane. So yeah, doing pretty good on this. So, but sometimes he can get the better of you. Now, I usually find that sometimes if these bowmen manage to hit you a couple of times and take your energy down, and then he gets a lucky hit in, that's pretty much game over. So I think I've left in one of my actual bits of footage where that actually happens, or I, I just completely balls up and he gets me. So here you go. He's coming after me. Come on. I love the sunsets. I like the time of day in this game. It's freaking ace, isn't it? But you see how his, his whole chest, his whole cavity is sort of like hollowed out there, which is pretty darn freaking gnarly, isn't it? Love that. But yeah, let's just keep zapping him. Take this, you, you freaking evil creature, you. I don't know where he is, he really. He could be majestically lovely, couldn't he? Yeah, and who knows? I mean, they managed to sort of tame him, didn't they? You don't see him attacking those soldiers. He's definitely just after you. Love it how he draws his sword as well. So yes, he's got like two phases. So as soon as his energy goes below the halfway level, be prepared for him to draw his sword. Now with his sword, he does quite a lot of damage and this charge and attack, watch out for it. Now, normally I roll towards him and go through his legs or try and get behind him to get in a few sneaky attacks. Took him out yet again. So there are sort of, I don't know, there are sort of methods that you can use and patterns that you can sort of see on this character as well. And considering that I'm really new to this game, I'm finding fighting this guy sort of like an additional tutorial on combat because yes you do have to be quite dexterous in getting out of the way and timing your roles quite nicely but you don't have to really go to town with the whole parrying system and knocking him back so yeah i'm actually enjoying this little skirmish with this guy because i feel like i'm learning and progressing not only in levels but also in my aptitude and ability to actually play the game so here we go i managed to get up to level 13 considering I, yeah, I've hardly cut any footage out of this people so far and you can see how quickly I'm leveling up just by farming this one creature. Now at some stage, you know, at the moment I'm getting what a thousand runes from this guy so it's lovely at this stage, but eventually it's going to get to the point where farming him is going to feel maybe a bit pointless. This is this is the one I think I die on. You see I got hit a couple of times by the archers, more than a couple of times. I'm down to half energy. Really what I should have done is then healed myself when I go back through the archway, but he's taken a lot longer. Longer. look at him he's just sort of meandering around and i just got hit yet again so yeah i've got an arrow sticking out my freaking back so there we go i've healed myself but i still think he gets me anyhow let's let's see if this is the one where i actually die because i left him one death sequence because there is one important thing when you do die something that you have to select or something that you should select just to make it a little bit easier for yourself but there you go boom look at that when he pulled his sword out that, that freaking knocked me right back didn't it yeah, he is an awesome animated creature, isn't he? Look at him go. I love the fact that there's all these bare patches of, like, just open flesh on him. Makes you wonder what it would look like if he was fully formed. Freaking scary guy. Heck yes. I know. And, uh, yeah. Is this one where I die? Actually, I'm not 100% sure now. I mean, I'm, I'm freaking having him, isn't I? Yeah, maybe I'm going to kill him. Oh, no, there we go. I thought this was a death scene. Yeah, so it just goes to show that he can take you out, so be a little bit careful. But you get a choice here. Where do you want to respawn? Go to your last site of grace. Okay, so that takes you straight back to that little campfire I was at. If you choose the other one, it, hopefully it's not too far away, but it's at the last statue that you've you've sort of rested at or whatever, or, or, or past the last checkpoint. It's not far, it's only over by the encampment, well my one is anyway, I don't know where yours is. But yeah, as long as you've saved where I told you to save before you start doing this, you should be fine, that little campfire, that site of grace. Awesome, there we go. So now I'm being a little bit more cautious. And uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely going to keep away from that big freaking sword of his. Because that sword of his does quite a lot of damage and it's got a lot of reach. He's got a lot of reach. I mean, look at the size of his freaking arms. Now, I don't know whether that actually grabs you. If that grabs you and he picks you up, that'd be freaking epic. I don't know whether it does. I think it's just a slash. You know, but pretty darn awesome. You can see there, one of the archers has actually followed me down as well. Not had that happen before. So now I'm thinking, maybe I should ride my horse up there, because the horse is nice and quick, isn't it? I'm going to take less damage from the arrows as well, because it should hit the horse. Now the horse does take damage, and you have to heal your horse. So be a bit careful, 
But yeah, maybe I can run up that way. Try it in a moment with the horse. But here we go. Let's just hit him in the armpits with some freaking magic. Take that, you armpits of evil. Right, there we go. Take down you. Yes. Now, I, had, I do play this live every Monday. So if you've only just seen this one video because you're here for tips, I play this live. And I'm going to be playing this live a lot more. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed and you like my sort of approach and like my setup, you like me maybe, yeah. Hit subscribe, hit a like, and then hopefully, and if you hit that little bell, if I do go live at random times, you're not going to miss a Captain Steve video. I also play No Man's Sky quite a lot as well, and I love No Man's Sky. Another great game. If you haven't checked out No, no Man's Sky, it's on pretty much every platform. Take a look. It's a little bit different to this. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Right, okay, awesome. Yeah, it's far more relaxing and sort of chilled, and it's an open universe game. So yeah, if you think this is big... <laughs> <laughs> no man's sky is a bit bigger right okay awesome so there we go we've um, got all this now so i'm trying to get my strength up but yes the magic is something that i want to focus on but i want to make it tougher like i say i need to do more damage so here we go we're trying it with torrent my magical pony yes my little pony da, 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 da. yeah I, I, I only know the tune from the adverts when i was a kid I, i'm Okay, all right, yeah, you caught me, I'm lying. I did watch My Little Pony, the movie, where they all get turned into stone by some big gargantuan freaking gargoyle dog type looking thing. It's freaking scary! Yes, you think this is scary? Watch My Little Pony, the movie, or Care Bears, the movie. Care Bears, the movie is freaking insanely scary. Yeah, there's this, there's this guy in it called Professor Coldheart, and he takes children, robs them of their faces, and turns them into these little mute penguin things. I'm not freaking joking! This, this happens! It happens in freaking Care Bears the movie. It's freaking evil. Anyway, back to this. Right, take it last, you big ugly giants. Right, oh, awesome. We're going to get ourselves another thousand runes in a moment, people. I've already got 947 down there. So that means level up time. Right, oh, slightly confident, slightly cocky. Never be that in this game. No, because you will get punished. Yes, treat every single enemy with the respect they're due. And that. I'm actually starting to like this. If you watch my first live playthrough, my first impressions was, I don't think this is for me. No, actually, I think it is. I'm actually really enjoying it now. I think this is quite an awesome sort of game because it really does challenge you in the same way that Qbert did back in the 80s. Oh, Qbert. I wanted to freaking snap my joypad with Qbert. Not a relaxing game, is Qbert. Yeah, it's Atari 2600 days. Now I'm showing my age, people, aren't I? Well, I suppose I did with the Care Bears movie stuff, didn't I? Anyhow, let's press on on. Let's go back over to here. Let's hit on up my Sight of Grace and let's level up. And then... I believe I get to about level 17 doing this. You can see there I had an arrow in my head. Yes, that, that one I actually died, so I've cut a bit of footage out there. But you can see I'm up to level 15 already. I'd done this all the way up to about level 17 or level 18. I can't remember which. And then I found that I wasn't leveling up in every kill. It's taking well over a thousand U, uh, runes. In fact, you can see that it's getting close to that already now. So yeah, it's not a place you can farm forever, but it is a place that you can farm to get yourself started for definite you know it'd be nice to hit level 20 here and then i might be able to go take on a few bosses which is probably what i'm going to do so if you are subscribed stay tuned because you're going to be seeing some of that lovely stuff and until next time you've been awesome all 21,000 of you goodbye 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 again well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.